Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Clara Z and I do videos on luxury handbags and fashion items. So today I wanted to share with you two recent purchases that I picked up from Hermes and as you can see from the title of the thumbnail, the first item is my Hermes Finesse Pendant Necklace. This is the finesse pendant in the rose gold color. It also comes in white gold. However, I selected the rose gold color because I wanted something slightly more subtle. It has 17 diamonds, equates to about 0.46 carats. Little motif here is about half an inch big and it's known to be a toggle class and is inspired by the Chand Anchor or the ship anchor. And this piece is made in France and it does have the lobster class with the two settings. So here you can see what it looks like on me. It is quite dainty and subtle and there are days sometimes when I want to wear something with a bit of a design but nothing overly statement and just something subtle against the neckline which works really great. Also if you are not an Hermes lover you would not know that this was an Hermes pendant which is really nice. So the next item I wanted to share with you is a watch from Hermes. I am usually wearing a Apple watch most of the time. I have become so attached to my Apple watch that it really takes a very unique design to pull me away from my Apple watch. And I absolutely love the design of this watch. So I'm happy to share with you my Hermes Cape Cod watch. And you can see here it comes in the cuff design which is made out of a black crocodile leather and honestly you guys I think I bought this watch mainly for the strap more than the watch. So I'm just going to put this on quickly so you can see what it looks like. So here is what the watch looks like on my arm. So I have some pretty thin wrists but apparently this cuff would fit if your wrist is between 14 to 16 and a half centimeters or five and a half to six and a half inches. So the history of the Cape Cod watch was that it was developed in 1991 and you can see by the shape of it, it is kind of like a square within a rectangular shape and it was apparently inspired again by the anchor chain or the chain de anchor. I'm probably saying that wrong however you get the idea and the name of the Cape Cod was inspired by the coastline of a place in Massachusetts. So although the Cape Cod was developed in 91, the bracelet that you see here also at the time called the Cape Cod Bracelet de Force was not developed until 2016. It originally came out in a calfskin that was in a black Berenia. However, I believe this alligator strap in black is probably a more recent version. It is a quartz watch, so it is probably not as expensive as a lot of mechanical watches out there. And the main reason why I bought this is to be kind of like a fashion bracelet. The diameter of this watch is 33 centimeters and actually this watch is supposed to be a part of their men's line however I feel that a lot of men's watches if they are not too big for your wrist can be carried as a woman's watch so this kind of reminds me of the CDC bracelet the wider one however because it doesn't have as much metal it's definitely a lot lighter and because this part is quite flat it's a bit more tapered to the arm and I feel that this watch can be more worn on a daily basis it's less statement it is statement but it's not so much like the CDC bracelet which is a bit more kapow more statement this one is a bit more subtle and I like that it's very close to my wrist now someone did contact me to ask me about the sizing of the watch band I don't tend to wear it on the tightest part because it is a wide strap and it tends to get quite humid in Hong Kong so I tend to wear it slightly looser just so that my arm can kind of breathe when it's really hot in the summers but so far it has been extremely 
extremely comfortable and I just really kind of like that really statement type of look. So some of you may know I also own the CDC 24. So I'm just going to put the two next to each other just so that you have a comparison of approximately how wide the band kind of looks and at the back actually it becomes a bit more thinner and is a bit more tapered out but I would say the width is just slightly wider than this one actually if I'm looking at this from behind it's almost like the width of my CDC 24 stacked with my Hermes CDC rose gold bracelet so it's actually not too wide if you can see that can see at the back it's just basically a regular class that you can tighten so I do believe that you might be able to remove the watch from the strap so that you can use it as a regular watch I'm not too sure but you might need some tools for it or you might want to ask Hermes to do that for you and although I do say that I do wear my Apple watches a lot there are days I just feel like okay I really should unplug from online and those will be days when I'm wearing my J12 my Cartier's and my other watches but it's sometimes really hard not to be wearing this watch because sometimes I have clients that are looking for me, colleagues or sometimes my husband is looking for me and they can't find me because sometimes my phone is not on me. I may have walked away from my phone and I do end up missing urgent messages or calls which is why I tend to gravitate towards this. In fact there are sometimes days when I'll want to wear my watch and I actually might put this in my pocket so that if it vibrates I know that someone is looking for me because I've set it so that it only vibrates when I get notifications from WhatsApp. So yeah, it's always a struggle, especially with the Apple Watch versus all the beautiful mechanical or quartz watches that I've collected over the years. So what do you think? Do you think that these mechanical watches are here to stay or will, do you think they'll be totally obsolete one day? So I hope you've been doing really well. I haven't been filming as much recently because as the situation has been improving in Hong Kong, Kong, I've been trying to go out a bit more, spend more time with my family and friends and hence I've had less time for YouTube but I am trying to film when I can and I'm actually also thinking about doing a bit more soft content so that I'm not just talking about uh, luxury but maybe a bit more kind of applicational luxury so I hope you'll join me for that as I am kind of planning for that. As videos do take a bit more time to edit sometimes I do tend to upload to Instagram more often so if you're interested you can also follow me on Instagram and I will put my Instagram account somewhere here on the screen. So thank you for joining me again today. I hope you have a fabulous week. I hope you stay safe, stay well, stay healthy and if you have any questions or comments please leave them down in the comment section below have a fantastic day now bye bye